Your thoughts on the week, Garth? I mean, obviously a roller coaster, but you end midweek here with an amazing signing. Yeah, we're really excited about Nico joining the organization, and I think it, it can uh, you know transform the way that we play, and I think that that's going to be important for us for the next several years, not just the sev next several weeks. And um, you know, I think it's a uh, we're turning the page and, and we're moving forward and we're looking forward. And um, yesterday was a rough day uh, for a lot of people, uh, but today was a good day, and and uh, we got to get up tomorrow and make tomorrow a good day. And uh, we got to build from there, and, and uh, you know, continue to try and make the team better, uh, give us more choices. You know, hopefully, uh, Flacco comes and joins us uh, in the next 24 hours, uh, and then you know, we're hopefully less than a month away from Roman Torres coming back as well. Uh, and I think any team that adds three starters uh, is going to look better uh, than it did before. You see Ladero down. Uh, in South America, you fly home. What are your thoughts on that flight home after you've seen him play in person? He played against, uh, he played the, the game, the first time I saw him live was against Rossing in, in Copa Libertadores, and Rossing has a player named Oscar Romero who's regarded as one of the best young talents in, uh, in South America, and uh, Ladero was the best player on the field, and uh, specifically played uh, uh, with Tevez, uh, who is a player uh, who, in my opinion, has some qualities similar to Clint Dempsey, and uh, He's the big star for Boca, uh, and Ladero's job uh, was to get him the ball. And, and uh, it wound up in this game that I saw that Ladero got the goal, uh, making a back post run. But just his, his work rate, uh, his, his brain. He, uh, Nico sees the game, sees passes that I think a lot of players don't see. And more than anything, we need a brain. And, you know, we have elite players who can score goals and have scored goals. We just need to get them the balls in better spots, and we need to do it more often. Uh, and I think Nico's going to be our giant soccer brain, uh, and he's going to drive us uh, from a soccer IQ, soccer acumen perspective and make, again, make the entire group better. Can a signing like this lift an entire organization? You know, I don't want to put too many expectations on, on one player, but, but look, it, it's been a rough season. It's been a rough year. Um, you know, I, we haven't played great since last May. Uh, so, uh, you know, couldn't, if we come in and we start playing good soccer and we get in the playoff on and we get some momentum and some positive energy, like, there's talent here. It didn't just evaporate overnight. Um, we just haven't been able to put it all together in a positive manner. And I think uh, adding a player like Nico, yeah, he's important individually, but I think from an energy, from a mentality perspective, it might even be more important um, to come in and... and have a have the attitude and the work rate that he has and, and again the soccer brain that he has guys it's going to be fun to play with nico guys are going to be excited to play with him uh and i think he's going to be a really great asset for the organization i know you're probably not going to reveal details of the deal or anything like that but the rumor mills you know, been churning for months i'm sure you've seen it like and i'm sure that played a part um was it as dramatic as uh as it appeared to be uh, I would describe the negotiations as tortured and even anguished. Um, it was, it took a long time to get the deal done. And, uh, you know, look, this is also, though, going to be more par for the course in MLS as we go forward because the reality is that MLS hasn't signed players with this kind of resume or the, of this caliber before. I, and, you know, and he's not unique. I don't want to pretend like he's the, you know, the best player ever. But um, when you start signing guys at this level with, with his profile, playing for his national team, playing for one of the biggest clubs in South America, you're going to have competition. Uh, and you're going to have a lot of competition, and you're going to have to be willing to stick with it and really be dogged in, in your pursuit and your belief that this is the best player. Uh, and, you know, for us, Nico was, and uh, we put in literally months of effort, multiple scouting trips, multiple negotiations, uh, and eventually we were able to strike a deal that worked for us and worked for Boca and worked for the player, uh, and hopefully that's the, the, the result is we have a player that will be a difference maker for us, we hope.